I'd say Execration is very happy. Anytime you get a Lena and a Monkey King and a Night Stalker in my eyes is a draft well done. The battle oh, I was going to be careful here, though. Look at old Backstabberoonie. Cough up first blood. As your position to invoker. Will secure a very nice advantage for the lane. Now, they do give up four bounties. So, that is still no bueno. Nearly three, actually. Full waves of farm for himself. Even blocking the... Like, this is really good play from Yangon Galacticos in the off lane. Yeah. My cost skill is... life, unfortunately. <laughs> I was thinking maybe he might try and get the kick off onto Ara, who's got the boots of speed in his backpack, but that'll still be enough. Kill! Ooh. Can you imagine if it wasn't? My lord, but that that's okay. Like, you give so much space to Zorane. You stop the pull. Zorane just got two free waves, maybe even two and a half under the tower. Now he's getting an extra one because he stopped the pull. So that, that kill is absolutely okay. Yeah, I thought bottom lane was going to go a lot better just off the back of maybe the Dawnbreaker could contest top, surprisingly. But Rage of Potatoes A OK. -okay. Might go back in now. They sidestep the blood right. Lun doesn't have the movement speed like how. And you see just the sustain game. It's too much for them to deal with. They'll TP in young PH, but the nighttime vision, or at least the awareness, they've been able to reset. BDC will make it. So a lot of space created. Even Bob's looking up shop to the party. Just Laguna him. Oh, oh. It's getting range. The vision, the vision. Oh, no. How? Is he speedy enough? This time hands. he's not. And now Lun also overstepped the mark and they're going to secure a double. I agree. Um, you've got Zorain, who's been Bottom able to, you know, somewhat recover at least in terms of levels. You know, eight and a half minutes. Oh, how's in he's... trouble? Mass TP is coming through. Solar Guardian heal. Is it actually going to be enough? How? To the outskirts. No, they won't keep him alive. But nonetheless, they will gap close on Bob. And now BDZ is also the next target as well. Execration, they're not going to bring the numbers in just in case you can get some revenge down bottom. They're, they're happy with just giving up two because of what they're getting out of the map. It's a five-man commitment though, yeah. So you can see Tino top side looking to pressure the lane in immediately, trying to push it away, help even RR, realizing, you know what, farm, probably not for me. I'm just going to go and take away the bounty room. space now you got to be careful across the map is how well, if they're not coming for the monkey yeah, king they're going somewhere else and it's straight on the blood seeker solar guardian healing i don't think it's enough through the burst or is it how somehow surviving for a decent rate to allow for the reinforcements to show up and they'll punish yes the blood seeker will lose his life but the answers are there with two heroes dropping so top gonna relocate to catch out skill lay Nope. Will they kill him? Please tell me. Oh! Wow, we that was very close. Um, we've seen what's been happening though with the Solar Guardian. Like they've been getting a lot of space. Uh, you you are heavily committing to take one target. Hold that thought, Young PH. Lon might have to swap him. Solar Guardian come into the fray. They're deep next to the T2 tower. Does the Bloodseeker want to look to show up? They need a way to protect young PH, but Tino's just locked on. They're even going for Zorain, man. Tino, he doesn't know when to stop on the train. He's just going for a secondary target. Bob to pick up the double. They haven't skirted off the tracks, and they're at the destination of Kill, Kill, Kill. Is he? Aras nearby. Like, the swirling light guys, this is a bug. Oh, oh they pop oh, back. Up. Oh, surprise! BKB Lena, they're gonna chase him down. Oh no, they weren't ready for that. All of a sudden, two heroes appear at the blink of an eye. And at the same time, their heroes evaporate instantly as Zorain. Oh, it's usually the ultimate this time. It'll pop it to escape, but... Ow, oh, that's the trap sprung. And then by the time they get back, guess what? Nighttime. So you might not have the Dark Ascension available, but use the Arcane Rune before popping it, so the downtime isn't going to be that bad. And uh, yeah, they're just trying to look to clean up the Vengeful Spirit. Ended up using the Crippling Fear just before the daytime, actually. <laughs> they're going to relocate on the T3 Tower! Man, Execration have their number well and truly. Zorain 
They'll escape. They do use the Wukongs a bit ambitiously. They're actually going to look to take the fire, but instantly they'll lay down the Ravage just to make sure that Yangon have no way to even deal with the first life. A swap to safety, but um, Skilly will fall. Long to join him in the afterlife. And Ultra Fatino. Give this man a rampage. He well and truly deserves it with his performance so far. And it looks like he can pick it up. It's Bob. He's like, you know, brother, I'll give it over to you. You know, with how well you played, it's only fitting for us to potentially end on a rampage. That must be the thing with the Dawnbreaker. It's just, it's too new, you know? Yeah, no cosmetics, that's why. Just, just wait until this hero grows in power. Then you'll know the true potential of the league hero. You ain't going one, one last ditch attempt. Oh, how it's just getting ripped apart. The, the leaner machine gun as the game goes it. on. As the crits are too much for them to deal with. Like you were saying, I mean, it's, there's a trend from Yangong. They don't tap out. So, Execration will have to beat them into submission. Which they're well and truly trying to do. Alright, I think and they've done it. I, um, you, you think? I don't know. They're buying back. We got this, boys. Winnable. Bobby? Yeah, they want two rampages. Maybe that's the reason. Oh, that is. No, you stopped the double rampage, Tino. Okay, well, still, you haven't gotten on top of the IO. They tried to swap them out of the Wukongs, but just the outskirts was not enough. As There we go. How we'll call it quits and execration. An incredibly solid game one performance from them. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, like I was talking about it, right? The. I feel like you just let them have too many of the strong heroes right now. Uh, just like in, and then you still don't have the overall uh, wave clear on three of your heroes, let's say, to be able to deal with this super early push. So yeah, I'm feeling fairly confident towards Execration. This, do you think, oh, actually, Tino, they're looking to make a kill attempt here onto Skillet. Getting the damage in onto the Venge, is it going to be enough before Tino is able to get the Jakiro kill? Well, they got it. To, again, this is an early game-ish oriented build for Execration. You don't want the PL to get huge. You have a Lycan, so you want to have that enabled for yourself. Skillet is going to need to try and escape here with the use of his Magic Wand, but with BD0 rotating in, they're not going to be able to. And now Zorane's in trouble too. They can just overwhelming with their number of heroes and all of their stuns. They have another Avalanche is available. And poor old Mars is going to stack up to his second death of the game and secures a double for Tino. So he's got four very early kills and this bottom lane is already disastrous. Rage Potato looking for the first shapeshift use of the game. How will need some extra reinforcements or he can just play off the back of the illusion dodge. Max coming Grace though. Duke and now they'll also cut down the tree so they're looking to try and focus off BDZ. Now Bob's RP is on cooldown, but the haste will give him at least some distance to play with on the outskirts here. But Rage Potato is also very weak, so he can't commit deep under the T1 tower. But Bob can cleave down one. He won't find the second. How again is looking for the illusion juke. He's gonna find it. A kill on top of the Magnus. Now Rage Potato as well might cost himself his life. An early earn pickup from Skill Lay. Can they find him with the Spirit Lance? They won't even need it. He'll tick out to the damage over time. BDC showing back up once again. And he'll have the damage to go through. Ow. Now he's going to be cautious though because the extra reinforcements. It's a party up top. And Lun will be able to pick up his second Intel stack of the game. Four points. Ava, two in toss. Radiant this will be the true test if they can attack. burst through young PH. Might just try and find a, a stack towards his level 9 before he gets involved. Ah, it's going to look to give an opportunity for Yangon to bring down Bob. Looks like he won't be able to get away. Reinforcements too late. RR showing up. Arena will trap in three, but maybe that's not the place Zorin wants to be. Or is it as young PH still has got so much damage from afar. The Arcane... Giving a low cooldown to the Tidebringer. Now, this is a big kill if they can get Tino as well. Maybe move it towards an ultra kill for the Conquer. It's such an early stage in the game. But Tino, nice jukes. Going to go back down to the southern side to refresh the blink. And Tino's out. Quite a rapid rate. Dyer's top tower has fallen. This 
Could it? That if it does get to late, Lun with his uh, scaling on the last word is going to be very nice. Lots of damage coming out. There. Bottom lane. Sorry, skill lay evaporates. They're actually still feeling like they can stick around, but they're going to be cautious. The Gobo Sans laid down. Will at least give them some assistance to retreat to safety. They need the extra reinforcements. Even House looking to shop as well, but a great toss back into the Wukong's Tino. He's showing up huge on the position one, tiny. This is something that we might see coming to fruition a little bit more through the the playoffs here with how well he's been performing. Yeah, unfortunately for how he's not able to make that impact. I feel like maybe he looks to commit if he's got the Diffusal Blade available. As they're surely not looking to converge it onto him, are they? You can see under the smoke, Tino, the Lycan Wolves doing the scouting. Oh no, how, how? Go Scepter to try and survive against all of this physical mm. damage and you know I understand why you know the decent start to the game for Lun with those that uh, stolen intelligence but it's just not gonna be enough oh. BDC probably not the higher gun he wants to die on but Space. with Wukong's is okay we just stick in nearby and yeah like you said space created uh, you wouldn't want to spear him off and allow him to get out would you well, you wouldn't want to spear him off. <laughs> he should still die to the curse. Roche is about to fall. Zorane making the attempt to snag it. The rest of Yango are coming over. They've lost two heroes on Execration. Are they going to give this up? Who's going to snag the Ages? Bob will just claim it, but they've still lost three. Maybe this is the fight they're looking for from Yango to bring them back into the second game as Tino is about to fall as well. They found a route back in and... Well, Bob's going to make it a, a hell of a play to somehow get out of dodge. Maybe he can kill a couple of heroes before he falls into the grave. Nice play with the Phantom Rush as Howard gets out to safety. And they also dethrone the Magnus. Honestly, it almost feels like a... Does it feel like a Blink Dagger game? I mean, I feel like you need to really be punishing the way that BDZ is playing this. He's even gone the Mage Slayer as well, by the way, which we haven't highlighted. Bridge Potato. He's going to use the Shapeshift here. How beautiful play with the illusion dodge once again. Now with a doppel, they're gonna jump in. Arena sets up for the bow. The Magnus is in trouble with the global science laid down, and there's no escape for the Lycan. So Yangon pulling up a couple of solid fights here. How is my god, he's very good on the Phantom Lancer. That illusion bait into the doppel. Whew. There's the Lycan's even DD able to scout Tino. out as well. So Bob, great target. They lay down the global science that are not enough to keep Zorain alive, but he does have a buyback. So they push past the tier two tower. He's probably gonna be forced to pop it, but man, rage potato. Oh, there's no ghost scepter on the Jakiro. Lun might have to use his. Wonder if he queues it up. <laughs> uh, wait, the stupid dragon man just chasing him into the base. Oh yes, 550 movement speed, very cool. Eventually ends up going down to the tower, so not even giving up the gold, I don't believe. It's around the area. Don't want to give them any room to find this early Roche. Bob's the target. RP not used to the last second. Is the heart health going to be enough to keep him alive? Four stuff how? Somehow back to safety, but they've got the cleave. Tino, one smack of the tree. Will kill off the PL and instantly you see Yingon. Having to reset the position, but Lun, we will not be given the opportunity to get back to safety. Is they might just lead straight to the higher gun. Meanwhile, through the river, skill lay as well. We'll add to the fourth death of the fight. Man, Execration, what a start though. Just the RP. This time we saw how wasn't able to outplay the fight. The skill lead gonna die here. He'll die. As long as BDZ holds boundless, then there's no way he gets out. Radiance yeah. top tower and just, is under attack. Meanwhile, taking Roshan. Uh, <laughs> we've been baiting out the Ghost Scepter. Oh, the four stuff. Do it. Oh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Bob's about to die down bot. Huh. So, <laughs> okay. Roche, you'll take Roche with the Axe Shard. It was a bit unnecessary for him to die. Do I think going to be the one that picks it up, though? So is this like a... Coral tree, or do you just call it a coral that Tino's got? I would. Which one? I said two options. 
Carl or Barnacles. Oh, how? They're actually going to jump in to take the fight. Zorin just whiffing on the spear. They're still going to try and prioritize this. Actually, the Aghanim Scepter. So Tino's running around in his own shapeshift. The Crimson's mitigating a lot of the damage at the moment. You see, and they haven't been able to kill off the Phantom Lancer either. So the illusion's starting to stack up. They're looking to try and control an area of the fight, but instantly they'll sidestep out of the Wukong's How going back in straight on top of the Lycan, but the control is lacking, and the life of How soon to be lacking as well. There's three down on Yang Gong. They won't cut down Conquer, but another successful fight. Such quick succession is way too much to deal with. It's, it's overwhelming at this stage. Oh, Jakira's got Ghost. Okay, well, Silence has got nothing. Gonna hope for a play with their defense. Maybe tiny overcommitment. This has gone to the edge of carry, though. And you don't have a Phantom Lancer as well to rejoin. I'll kill off the first life. They've got RP and Shapeshift in a couple seconds along with Wolf Bite. So get rid of the Sansa and the dieback. Tino's still pretty deep at the moment. They just have to poke and prod, not heavily commit. Oh, now you've got to reset. You cannot fight into this, but Bob... Well, you're gonna not going to give them an opportunity to us. They're just hitting tier 4 towers. Someone needs a defense. How's up in five? Oh, I, don't, I don't know where the defense can come through from, though. Tino's going to jump in. Ah, but look at all the clear. Bob will skew in the back as well, and how he's just looking on. Maybe he can get rid of some of the supports even then. That's not an easy target at all. As now they'll be able to control the top side of the fight here with the Wukongs. He's trying to solely focus down how, but meanwhile, Tino and Bob dealing with the backline supports. His skill label loses his life. Three down. No buybacks available. Bob will attempt the TP. He won't make it out. Do they have any detection for Tino? Young PH trying to play around, but I mean, the, the Thrones, it's falling low here, guys. And there's no defense. This one's over and done with. There's Execration. <laughs> they want the kills before they end it. The Cleave will even add on top of that as an incredible series performance from Execration taking it 2-0. to zero.